David, I'm fascinated by this notion of uh, mind extension. Is it going to f too far to say that the way the stone axe was an extension of our bodies, so is the smartphone an extension of our minds? I think that's pretty well right. Um, every technology, in a way, serves to extend ourselves. A good technology that we use basically becomes part of us. A hand axe, I guess, becomes an extension of our limbs, giving us extra power. You know, the car becomes... Uh, an extension of us, giving us a way of moving around. But many of these technologies are basically extensions of our bodies. I think one thing that's really interesting about modern technology is that it's increasingly actually serving as extensions of our mind or our brain. You know, functions that used to be performed by my brains, like you know, remembering phone numbers. I mean, who <laughs> remembers a phone number with their brain anymore? I can't remember the last time <laughs> I did that. It's uh, my phone is actually serving as my memory, an extension of my mind. Uh, the you know, Google Maps is serving as part of my navigation system. We used to have a hippocampus uh, for that to, to get around. Well, now it's gradually atrophying and being <laughs> taken over by, by Google Maps, which, or whatever, by ma navigation software, which can, a which can often do this stuff a whole lot better. So, you know, extending the mind is not new. When, uh, you know, when writing was invented, it served as a kind of a form of memory and collective memory that serve to, uh, to extend the mind. So mind extension technology has been around for a long time, but now I think we're living in the era where it's becoming absolutely central.